So I received this email from the Kickstarter's trust and safety team about six hours ago. I'm sorry I'm a bit late on this. I was really busy at work early on. Um, so they actually are informing us as backers of Luna that this uh, campaign is the subject of an intellectual property dispute. In other words, dispute is not conclusion, everyone. So um they are still in the consideration period so just so you know i'm not a law expert and so on but i'm trying to be as simple and logical as possible with this matter okay so basically um what's going to happen is that uh the the project has been removed from public view mm. until the dispute is resolved uh, which can take up to 30 days so we were actually expecting luna to be um delivered by Christmas time um, so that it sounds like that's not going to happen now um, we could wait another month anyway but the project funding and the countdown to its uh, deadline has been stopped um, if the project becomes available again the countdown will continue and the new deadline will extend past the original deadline for as much time as the project was unavailable you can find out more by reading the uh, copyright policy and our trademark policy and etc. So those are all the details and the time re remaining um, if project becomes available is 49 hours. So there's um, that was actually six hours ago. So we got less than 49 hours to go. So if you go to the uh, Meet Luna Kickstarter page, you actually get this writing notification without any images, but um, if you click on the view copyright notification text, it will show you what exactly is going on. So this is rather a long uh, reading that I just don't want to read out to all of it for you, but it's pretty clear that Pittsburgh uh, DLL actually filed the complaints about this uh, whole issue. And um, so I just want you guys to focus on this third sentence. It says these copyrights cover the three-dimensional sculpture and the audio-visual work of two interactive vector and Cosmo robots owned by the Digital Dream Labs. Okay, I, th I just want to highlight that bit and then when we go down to the bottom side of it, I think we go into more further on the audio-visual side as well. So it says that um, the uh, certain emotions action depicted in Luna video or other graphics appears on Kickstarter project including without limitation of wake up, excited or happy, sad, angry and frustrated, curious and go to sleep. Further, the shape and design of Luna's face. So um, I'm kind of like uh, not really agreeing on this one. It's clearly a different shape. But anyway, so it's Luna's face, um, shape, design of Luna's face eyes copies the shape and design of vector and cosmo faces um, and eyes and so on so i think those are the two things we can pick up from what's going on here so i think ddl is not really happy with the fact that luna has the same sort of screen uh, similar sound and also two eyes uh, but what really troubles me the word of out of this whole thing personally on my aspect is that the three-dimensional sculpture seems to resemble um, vector and cosmo that's the issue apparently so in other words what this is telling me is that any robot that has wheels on will also be very likely to be tackled uh, legally by digital dream lab so someone has to come up with something of a robot that does not have wheels um, and does not wheels only and has almost zero assemblance to um, uh, basically vector and cosmo that's what's going on here i mean um the animation i have actually seen what ki tech can do they already had a a two-wheel robot which only had one dotted eye um, and that was really good actually so once I knew that robot that is actually designed and built by Kiaite I knew that they're gonna the there's no doubt Luna is gonna be a successful robot but I'm hearing a lot of people emotionally 
at the moment because it's a news like really shocked and really angry towards DDL but I'm just trying to be very balanced on this matter here and I just want you guys to invite you back on the time when Digital Dream Lab actually bought um, all the copyrights from Anki so this is the article that I put on the um, description below but here, here it is it says according to Hilco Steam Stream Bank I remember this one a long time ago I was trying to tell you guys that um, Anki Vector um, and Cosmo is going to come back and so on. So I, yeah, so basically the patent portfolio sale include the following assets. So 45 issued utility patent, including 35 US patents, 11 published patent applications, 39 pending patent applications, three utility patent in the national uh, phase, 73 issued uh, design patent and, and trademark and domain name and so on. So you got to look into the perspective of uh, Digital Dream Lab. I know quite a few number of people have actually said that uh, DDL is not really, um, you know, they're a bit slow at the moment with production, but we know that pandemic actually hit the whole thing and everyone slowed down. It's not only DDL, uh, but I actually, um, you know, pre-booked for my um, pre-order for my but the Butter Robot and Cosmo 2.0 as well. So there's no sign whatsoever, but I completely understand things can get delayed on DDL, but looking at the side on um, DDL perspective, they must have paid a lot of money. I remember I, I, it was something like over hundreds of millions of dollars worth of money that they um, pretty much invest and bought on. And when they see someone trying to have the similar uh, design to Vector or Cosmo after spending a lot of money, they got all the rights to be angry at the same time. But this is something of not a good news for customers like ourselves because we want this ongoing new invention of robot coming in while this patent law, which I have zero knowledge whatsoever, um, seem to kind of is the stumbling block of all this happening. But um, as, a, as someone who actually draws an electrical drawing, which is known as AutoCAD, I'm always conscious that any of the design that I come up with will be infringing someone else's copyright. Um, I actually do buy some copyrighted materials and I'm always conscious that this might infringe someone else's copyright. Um, but so this can be questioned uh, by the original uh, owners of the whole copyrights and patents. So I don't think we should get emotional about this whole matter. But in fact, what really worries me is that unless the technology moves on where we no longer need a robot with wheels, um, then I think we're going to have this ongoing debate um, and challenges from DDL. Um, it, the robot has to either be just two wheels or fully walkable. But then again, if someone owns a robot with only two wheels only, does anyone own that? Does anyone own the whole full um, patent and uh, copyright about robot walking like human? I mean, this whole patent law seems to just doesn't, sometimes don't, does not need to, sorry, sometimes doesn't make sense whatsoever. Um, but I, I know that there is a huge popularity and demand coming from the people who wants to get Luna robot. I'm also very gutted about it as well, but I'm just trying to be very, very balanced about this matter. Um, and I just want, I hope that people can, who are really upset about this news can also try to understand the DDL's perspective as well. Um, Kiai Tech has actually kindly, um, sent me the previous robot to clickbot for review that's the only open relationship i had with them um, and also ddl has been very kind to me with uh, information source and so on so um, i'm just trying to make a video which is very neutral so that people can understand both aspects on it but um, again this whole word about three dimensional sorry these sculpture three words, three dimensional sculpture seem to really concern me. So um, it, it sounds like someone has to come up with a really creative robot to be able to sell 
um, any robots um, in the future. But regards to the animation side, if it does, if this goes on, maybe I'm sure Kiai Tech has more of capability of coming up with a different design. But it was, this was kind of for me personally a bit of a surprise news because I personally thought there was almost no resemblance with the animation, um, with the the shape of the head. Uh, and so on. But then again, I'm not the expert. So I'm trying to be very careful on this because it's only one person who has no knowledge about, um, you know, patents and laws and so on. But anyhow, um, I hope this sort of calms you down a bit, those who are really upset. But let's see how it goes. It's in a dispute um, stage. It might come back. Um, it might not. But nonetheless, I mean, technologies move on. If, you know, these sort of things happen, I'm, I'm, we, let's hope that this happens for the good for, uh, for the rest of the future and, and technology and so on, if you see what I mean. But I have to say, it is quite scary to see how patent and copyright could be applied against uh, this whole competition because I, it's very sad news for um, people at, who are a fan of Luna because Luna is uh, is was the popularity just exploded once I uploaded that video before it came out um, and we were all excited about it but anyhow let's see how it goes so uh, be patient and think positive and I hope you enjoy the rest of your uh, Friday so thank you very much for watching this video this is LZP Tech all the best bye bye